Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias from University of Science Malaysia. In this video, I would like to share and show you how we can use OBS Studio as a virtual camera. And we can use this virtual camera into uh, in uh, when you presenting in in WebEx, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Team, and any um, common web meeting or web conferencing uh, system. Um, so what is actually virtual camera? So the idea is this. Uh, when you when you do a presentation in WebEx or Zoom, Google Meet or Microsoft Team, uh, you are familiar with the setup. And the, the setup is very simple and there's not much flexibility for you to, uh, to, to be creative on how you can set the different scene in, in those applications. So what you have is a screen, you share your PowerPoint, uh, then you have the webcam uh, on, on the top right or on, on the side, right? So it's, it's, uh, that's all. Um, all the uh, web conference system or web meeting system have more or less the same layout. It is quite boring, okay? And um, how do we make it more interesting? So as uh, if you are familiar with OBS, if you are not familiar with OBS Studio and how to set up OBS Studio. Uh, I have uh, already done a tutorial on OBS Studio and how to set up. And there are many also other tutorials on YouTube. So basically, OBS Studio allows you to set up different scene. Then you can switch from one scene to another scene and that will make the whole presentation more dynamic. So for example, as you can see here, I can start my presentation with the intro video. Then I can switch to full screen like this, just by pressing uh, the key, the keyboard on, on my keyboard. And we can see on the left hand side, on the bottom left here, I have set a different scene here. And I can simply switch from the intro video here, speaker in full screen, speaker in uh, this uh, kind of, uh, graphic here. So I'm uh, the webcam. My webcam is actually uh, in the, in the computer screen, small computer screen there. And I can also set up so that I have my PowerPoint and then, you know, my webcam on the, and then I can switch again back to this, back to this, this, the video, if I have another video to play. So that's basically the idea. In OBS Studio, uh, you can set up all these different scenes to make your presentation more dynamic. <laughs> okay. So, but we, we cannot do this in uh, WebEx and uh, Zoom and, and other uh, web meeting system. They, they have a fixed layout. So, virtual camera basically would allow you to bring all this into the web meeting system. So let me demonstrate to you now. Okay, so I will use WebEx, uh, then I will show you with Zoom. But you can do uh, you know the same thing with Google Meet, Microsoft Team as well. Okay, it's very simple. Instead of choosing your camera, let's say you, when you choose your camera, you choose your webcam or whatever camera that you have connected to your computer. So instead of choosing the that camera, we use uh, we choose a virtual uh, virtual OBS in this case. So how do we get a virtual OBS? OBS, first make sure you have latest version of OBS. So in this case, um, the latest version is 26.1.2 for the Mac version. I think for for the Windows version, I'm not very sure, but uh, please make sure you have the latest version. When you download the latest version and upgrade, you will find on the right bottom right here, one additional menu which previously is not there yeah so this you can see here you can see here start virtual camera okay start virtual camera this is very important when we want to bring anything that we have set up in obs studio into our web meeting system 
So now let me launch WebEx first. Where's my WebEx? Here. Right. So let's wait for the WebEx to come up. It's slow. Or maybe I'm doing the recording as well at the same time. Okay. Then uh, I will start a meeting straight away. Okay. Then, all right. Now, can see I uh, can start a meeting now, but notice here. Um, okay, I can uh, connect to the audio. And then, so in this case, I can mute because now uh, my audio will come from my Webex. Uh, sorry, from my OBS Studio. Okay. Um, now, start video. Now, when you click here, you can see OBS virtual camera because the reason because I have installed, I have connected. Um, well, currently, if I click OBS virtual camera, I, I don't get anything because I have not yet connected the uh, WebEx and, uh, and, and OBS. So I need to go back to OBS and I can start virtual camera. So it's now already uh, started. I can see here it says stop virtual camera. So now I have, I have started the virtual camera in OBS. So I go back to WebEx and then once again, I click OBS virtual camera. Then I start meeting. Once again, yep. Okay, I, I have to click uh, start video just now. So now, as you can see, uh, this is a um, WebEx window, and at the back here is my uh, OBS Studio window. So now if I, all I need to do now, I can do all the presentation here, uh, everything in, in uh, my OBS, everything that I do here will be reflected on the WebEx. So let me just um, make this window a bit smaller so that you can see side by side. And I make it smaller. Oh, okay, so this is WebEx and this is um, OBS. So let me start the video, intro video here in WebEx. So as you can see, when I play the video in WebEx, it will play and stream through WebEx. When I change the next scene in my OBS Studio, it will reflect also to my WebEx. Then when I change to this screen in OBS Studio, it will also be stream into webex okay then powerpoint and speaker the same thing here you can see the same thing is reflected or mirrored in webex so basically what is happening now i'm i'm using obs studio as a virtual camera so everything that i have set up in my obs studio and i you know, I run OBS Studio, change from one scene to another scene, and everything will be shown in the WebEx window. And if you are just using WebEx, you cannot have this effect. Okay, you cannot have this effect. And the same thing can be achieved with Zoom. Okay, I will, I will show you another one with Zoom. And the same thing also can be done with Google Meet and Microsoft Teams as well. All you need to do is Make sure you, you have set up everything in OBS Studio, then click 
start virtual camera and then you can go to the uh, application then make sure you connect to the uh, OBS virtual camera then you can start the video and everything that you do now will be reflected in the WebEx or Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Team. That's great, right? <laughs> All right, so let me stop the virtual camera. Let's see, uh, let's see what happened when I click stop virtual camera in OBS and now in WebEx all uh, you know, we can see is this one because uh, I have stopped the virtual camera in OBS Studio. Okay, so let me quit WebEx and very quickly I will show you how we can do that with um, Zoom. Yeah. So let me now uh, launch Zoom. Where is my Zoom? Okay, this is my Zoom. And I will start new meeting. All right. So now I am in Zoom. Click join with computer audio. And then here, um, you can see here, OBS virtual camera is there. So now what I, what I need to do now, I go back, come back to OBS and again start virtual camera. And then here in Zoom, I choose OBS virtual camera and see what happens. Right? So start the video in OBS and it will be reflected in Zoom. Go to next scene and this is OBS on the left and it's in zoom on the right then i go to the next screen in obs then the same thing can be seen in zoom and my powerpoint same thing can be seen in zoom as well so that's my friend ladies and gentlemen if you want to uh Go to the next level in your presentation in Zoom, WebEx, Google Meet, and Microsoft Team. Learn how to use OBS as a virtual camera. Learn how to set up your presentation in uh, OBS Studio. Then learn how to use OB, uh, OBS Studio as a virtual camera. And from here, you can start to have uh, a more professional looking presentation in your Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. I think that's about all. Okay, uh, I'm very happy to be able to, to share with you this uh, OBS virtual camera with you and give it a try. Very simple. Okay, make sure you download the latest version of OBS Studio, then set up the simple one then try it out with Zoom and WebEx.